So here we are at VidCon UK and this is David. Hello David from Licked and they're an audio company that does all those wonderful like, royalty free music and audio licensing for you. So how can licensed music help you with your retention and your channel? Um, well, so I mean as we all know um, currently YouTubers are precluded from using commercial music on their YouTube channels because of all the copyright claims and the things that uh, go along with that. Um, obviously there are a bunch of really awesome uh, companies out there that already exist that allow people to license um, royalty free music mm -hmm. um, but at Licked we enable you to license commercial music or okay. chart music for your online video content so Brilliant. it just adds that extra layer of um, ambience and that, that, that piece that's sometimes missing um, mm. when you're looking for um, something to really raise your, uh, your content up um, to make it stand out from the rest of the crowd. Okay, do you find that this gives uh, a, a boost to retention? Does this add with brand awareness, so therefore it lifts the video? Or does it just add an atmosphere like um, Elle Mills, for example, who gets demonetized constantly, mm. but prefers to use that as like a lost leader? She gets the views, and she gets the, the recognition of the music, but then still doesn't necessarily make the money, so she makes it through brand deals instead. Mm. Do, you, do you find that the, the recognizable music helps with retention? Um, well, I mean, the best thing about our, our licenses is that you can uh, use them and you get to monetize your channel. Mm -hmm. So you're not missing out like, you know, um, L or anyone else um, that is uh, demonetized because of the copyright claims. Um, the best thing about it is um, you're not only using um, uh, higher quality music, um, which obviously adds to the value of your content that you're creating, um, but it also enables you to keep and piggyback off of like key trends or songs that are uh, going viral at the time um, and uh, loop in the uh, artists as well um, so that adds an extra um, element of um, benefit I guess okay. um, to your to your channel and your content so like I, I've recently been dabbling um, creating content for, for another channel which is open mic UK um, and they, they run through that it's, it's mechanical royalties and performer royalties. Like, this is you purchasing it through you, and then you, you send it to them. Now, if I was to, to take a membership out with you, and this is a thing that always confused me, and after a month or so I was to leave you, mm -hmm. do you retroactively claim videos? Do you keep hold of content that we've, I've made previously? Um, how does the ongoing licensing with you compare to, say, a um, Audacity and stuff like that would work? So um, our licenses, any license that you buy from us is in perpetuity. Okay. So if you buy a license at say the cheapest, um, because your video is based on average video views, so the cheapest it would be is six pounds or eight dollars. Okay. So if you had under 50,000 video views and you bought it at six pounds, it's in perpetuity. So if you bought it when your video was, your channel was super small, and then maybe you went viral and you got a million subscribers in two weeks, um, you would still have only paid six pounds. Okay. It will last forever if you leave the platform. It will last forever if Licked stops existing. Mm -hmm. All of it, you won't suddenly get copyright claims. It will last. Forever. Okay. And you work cross networks, so it's YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Okay. Yeah, that's great. What what would what would be your one tip when it comes to audio, when it comes to music, that you would want? Wish you could travel back in time and give yourself maybe as a creator or as a, a, a musician or an artist that, that relates to, to, to your brand when it comes to royalties? Is there one thing, mood, when it comes to the, the flow of your video, when it comes to the, the creative direction, what would you suggest that you do? I mean, um, it depends on how you work. I mean, I know some people that like to find a song first and then work their video around it, or some people that film the video and then pick the song, find the perfect song for it. Um, I would say that my tip is always to build your channel with the expectation that you're, um, you're going to be successful. Mm -hmm. um, so um, make sure you do everything right from the very beginning. So go to experts like you and get the hints and the tips um, to ensure that um, although you may only have 500 subscribers, um, treat your channel like you've got 500,000 subscribers and do everything properly from the very start. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. These guys are at VidCon UK in London and no doubt you'll see them throughout the place. It's licked.
and there'll be links in the description down below. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.